when I saw Gary V. I mean, look at this. Gary V. You know, if you never heard of him, look up Vayner Media. Just look up Gary V. He, he is awesome. Profound entrepreneur, profound author. He's incredible. One of the best business minds on the planet. And what I love is that he created V Friends, started as an NFT. Now they're literally turning it into comics and animation. Why is that impactful? That's literally the Pokemon model. We talked about this on the LV with the podcast already. I'm telling you, if you don't step into this, or the business owners are going to step into it. It may go from a blue ocean to a red ocean, but I'm telling you, the Pokemon model, the creature model, like, just check the link above or around. You'll see it. Again, check it out. The Pokemon model. That was on episodes that we did already. So the reason I'm mentioning this is that Gary Vee is literally taking his illustrations and his characters then the V friends, all the cute animals and all these other things. Now he's turning into comics. I've seen animations that they have already. They're working on, you know, possibly 3D animations as well, which means at one point they can have video games. At one point they can have merchandise. I'm telling you, all of this is showcasing Gary's brand and connecting with his fans, his super fans and his community. He's able to speak. It's almost hitting all four quadrants. Under 25 male, under 25 female. Over 25 male, over 25 female because animals resonate with people. All right, characters and cute illustrations resonate with people. Not that 3D is bad, but because 2D is such a pattern interrupt, it's something that you just don't see just around you. Two-dimensional, hand-drawn illustrations has a nostalgic, powerful, incredible, emotional feel. And at the end of the day, people buy with emotion and justify with logic. Again, people buy with emotion and justify with logic. Now, as we talk about all this, you may be wondering, okay, if I want to make a manga, that's good, but how do I actually like protect it? One of the things that you can do, one of the things that you should do is you should do it with a copyright. Don't believe the hype of when you see people around you just making manga, they're doing their one shots, they're just putting all these content on social media to get the likes up, putting stuff on Webtoon to get the likes up, you know, to, you know, get brand awareness, people know, like, and trust them. While it is important without a copyright, you don't own your manga. All right, and the poor man's copyright does not exist because if you mail something to yourself, you know, and let's say it's what, 5, 2, 24, and you finished your book today, but someone has a newspaper from the past and they put it in the envelope. You see what I'm saying? It's it's never going to work in your favor and it's just going to get thrown out of court. You need a copyright. You need to go to copyright.gov. You need to actually file for one. It's not scary. All right. It's literally less than $100. Literally, you can invest less than a hundred dollars and save yourself millions because if you don't have a copyright and you finally make your chapters and you reach a hundred chapters and you have no copyright, that means you don't, own, you don't own your story, first of all. Second of all, if someone sees you popping and they want to take your stuff, legally they can, and there's nothing you can say or do to stop them. Like, you could invest. Look, I'll, I'll explain it like this. Working and creating your manga without a copyright is like discovering a gold mine, right? But you're not protecting. You may have taken one piece of gold, but maybe two, and you just left it open. Days pass, and you come back, and it's gone. Like, you don't want that, because what's going to happen is people are going to lay claim to what you discovered. Lay claim to your story, and you don't want that, all right? You don't want to finally create a multi-million or even billion-dollar intellectual property. Yes, your story, and then someone steals it. So what you should do is get a copyright. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Just posting online is not enough. You need to have a strategy and a system. We cover this later on. We'll talk about it again, but we cover this in depth because I'm a self-publishing coach. We've done already 14 books. It's been six years and we do books cover to cover. So when we're telling you this stuff, it's in your best interest to help you. We're not just trying to do this to help us. We're doing this to help you because we want to see you win and you create your stories and step into greatness. Next up, two. Manga tells the most powerful, authentic, and unique stories. It's not that you don't find great stories in the Bible. I love that. It's not that you won't find great stories in books. You know, I'm currently reading The Way of Kings by Brian Sanderson. Fire. Zeth with the lashings and the, the stormlight. That thing is fire. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Story is the greatest catalyst for change. Jordan Peele again. Story is the greatest catalyst for change. And it's not that the Bible and Way of Kings by Brian Sanderson and, you know, books by Harry Potter and all these other stuff aren't bad you know they're great stories but here's the thing when you have a manga story right it's going to change people's lives because not only is it written from a real place or place that's resonating with people but it's also visually stunning like the amount of artistry that's put into manga is it's breathtaking work in its simplicity it's beautiful it's like oxen's razor but it's like this beautiful brush of like elegance and class and when you see manga for what it is it's so simple it's black white and t shades of gray but it's so powerful because what they're able to capture 
in that is great. Now, another thing I didn't manage, mention, bonus benefit of manga. Manga is made quickly. In fact, manga is made so quickly that generally speaking, if you're doing it traditional publishing, you're making a manga chapter every week or every other week. So you're hitting like 30 to 40, maybe close to 50 chapters a year, depending on your speed. What does that mean for you? Success loves speed. And if you're outperforming your competition and you're creating more quality content that's visually stunning, well-written, and cohesive that is easy to get into, it's a done deal. Like, you can just take off. So that's what I'm telling you, kings and queens. Manga is one of the best things to get into. Manga talks about culture, people, places, and history. It captures a wide range of human emotions. 